Alright lads, so today we got a pretty cool new event on our hands to farm for basically the next two weeks until the end of January. And that is the New Year's 2022 Bankai Co-op Quest. This co-op only quest is actually very similar to the 6th anniversary quest that we did get 6 months ago. Now this one actually works a lot different, not only because the rewards are different this time around, but also we have bonus characters. In this quest you are encouraged to bring fierce battle characters, so you have a wide range of premium characters that you can use. I'm sure mostly everyone watching this video does have access to at least one bonus character, but you mainly want to bring the 50% bonus characters. That being the Face Battle Chad, Face Battle Uryu, Face Battle Ichigo, Face Battle Renji, and Face Battle Byakuya. Using any of these five characters will increase the appearance rate of an extra stage happening by 50%. So if you have four 50% bonus characters in your team, that means you have a 30% chance to get to the next stage. And what actually is in these extra stages? Well, if you currently don't know, the extra stages have basically three tiers to it. The enemies that you do kill, you will see a little icon above the head, which will indicate the potential drop they might be dropping. You have the bronze tier, silver tier, and gold tier. And of course, most people farming this would want to get the gold stage, but the gold extra stages only give 2,022 silver tickets. Is that supposed to be good? <laughs> I don't think so. But I will say this is definitely a big downgrade compared to the 6th anniversary quest because the rewards are significantly worse now. Realistically, there isn't that many good things to get here besides the one redeeming factor. And the reason why everyone should be farming this quest is because you are pretty much guaranteed easy editing brushes. The only reliable way to actually get editing brushes at this current point in time is to be in 3rd C or above when Extreme Carp comes out once a month. And that quest only is here for a couple hours a day and also you can't even do five times runs. This quest is available to everyone. This quest is significantly easier. This quest, you can do five times soul tickets, so you can stack up on a lot of editing brushes. This, by far, is one of the best events to farm if you are a new player. And I can't emphasize that enough. Getting to third seat as a new player isn't tough, but it is quite an investment for the most part. Brave Battle isn't really a fun game or that a lot of people do enjoy, and it is, for newer players, kind of hard to get into that depending on how far you've progressed into the game already. So just for the fact that this is so easy to do, just the fact that it's accessible to everyone, there's really no reason why you shouldn't farm it. If you are a new player, I would try and get as much editing brushes as possible from this event so you never have to like really rely on extreme carp just to get your editing brushes. And even for endgame players, this is definitely something that you should consider farming if you are already low on brushes. I am someone that I would consider an endgame player. I'm currently sitting at 300 brushes. So of course, I'm going to also take advantage of this because you never know when this quest will come back. If we look at Transcendent Zone, for example, an easy way to get Hogakus, a lot of people didn't farm that the first time it came out and now it hasn't been back in the last five or so months, and people are already going through a Hogaku drought. Of course, Caleb could do a better job at managing Hogakus, but the example is still there. If there ever is a quest to get a lot of items a lot easier than normal, go for it, because you never know when Caleb might just remove a certain game mode. So we, for all we know, Caleb could just stop giving us Extreme Carp one day, and they won't do anything about this. So just make sure, whenever something is here, like this particular quest, go for it. There's no reason not to farm it unless you already have like 7,000 plus editing brushes. In that case, then this event isn't for you. Having said that though, do keep in mind this quest does ultra drop a 5 star con, a mind one. So if you are a new player out there, you can get yourself a 75 additional orbs. For any old players out there though, unfortunately, it's just more transcendent points and it's only 1,000 worth. Honestly though, the drop rate for these cons aren't too high, but you are guaranteed them just by doing a couple runs. Keep in mind though, you do want to at least, at the very least, do 100 runs of this co-op quest because you can get yourself a 5 star summon ticket, where hopefully you can get a new character. Oh, let's go! That's class! <laughs> you but overall, even though the quest did see a nerf in terms of rewards, obviously the 6th anniversary quest did drop Hogaku, Super Links or Potions, etc. But that was really reliant on getting the extra stage. So a lot of times that you were playing the 6th anniversary quest, you did end up wasting a lot of soul tickets. In this case, though, you have an increased chance to get an extra stage thanks to the bonus characters. And also for the fact that you don't really need to get the extra stages because the editing brushes are almost guaranteed every single run from the final boss. So a lot of the times, even if you don't get an extra stage, you're still not wasting soul tickets like we did with the 6th anniversary quest. Yes, this event could have been a lot better had they put Hogakus, Links or Potions for example, but overall I feel like this is a really good quest for any new player out there that wants to kickstart their accessory grind. And personally, I feel like Caleb did a really good job with this one because now new players that are just started the game for the end of the year can stack up on a bunch of editing brushes and then once we get the new update potentially next month that will revamp the accessory system, or at least the reroll process, they can have a much easier time and can actually get excited for the update thanks to the fact that they now have editing 
collecting prices. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool event. It could have been better, but it also could have been significantly worse. And the fact that I'm actually spending my time farming this, I can definitely recommend to most of you lads that it is worth farming, unless you already have a massive amount of editing brushes. If you do, then just spend your soul tickets elsewhere after you do get your 100 runs in and get that free 5-star character. That said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you lads think about this event, and let me know what 5-star character you did get from your 5-star ticket. That said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.